The Director General of the IAEA was in New York this week with world leaders for the Summit of the Future ahead of this year's UN General Assembly. The inaugural summit adopted a pact forging a new international consensus on how to improve the present and build a better future. The world and the pact that you just adopted, importantly, needs instruments, concrete instruments, to materialize those goals. The IAEA, an institution born from an idea pronounced from this same rostrum 70 years ago, is doing just that together with you. It is doing that by underpinning the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons regime. It is doing so by preventing in a war zone a nuclear accident with terrible radiological consequences adds to the misery of our ongoing war. But importantly, it is also doing that through its programs like Race of Hope, which is bringing oncology and nuclear medicine to places that do not have a single radiotherapy unit. It is doing so in places where food is scarce through the Atoms for Food project. It is doing that by protecting the environment through its nuclear techniques against plastic pollution and protecting the oceans from ocean acidification. It is doing that through clean nuclear energy, allowing more and more states reach economic development without harming the environment. The IAEA is an instrument of all the lofty goals and ideas that have been adopted here. And the IEA will continue doing just that. Thank you very much. The Director General immediately pushed on with that work in a series of important meetings. He discussed his upcoming visit to Tehran with Iran's new foreign minister. With the Ukrainian foreign minister, he reaffirmed the agency's continuous support for nuclear safety and security in Ukraine. With Japan and Honduras, he signed an agreement on advancing cancer care through the Rays of Hope initiative. Director General Rafael Mariano Grossi also met with many other leaders and took firm steps to develop the work of the IAEA, improve international cooperation and ensure nuclear safety and security. Mr Grossi took part in many media interviews with journalists and was particularly asked about his message to the General Assembly. Our message is, is, is very simple. We have to garner, we have to benefit, uh, and we have to extend to others all the benefits of uh, the peaceful uses of nuclear energy. So my message is a message of optimism.